Cutters, the grassy, unpopular opinions. Hey there, hello, hello, there. it's Jeff Cutter Diamond, welcoming you to another the grassy, unpopular opinion. And this is one that I made myself, and I made a post nine days ago. Of course, this is a time that, in context, this is June 4th, 2022, when I tape it. It says, unpopular opinion about Emma's supposed gonorrhea in season four. I was listening to the Social Disease podcast about the Rick Murray timeline, and Jasper and Bridget, the two people from the Social Disease podcast, said that maybe Emma's gonorrhea was a punishment for her role in bullying Rick Murray and the aftermath. I don't think so, but I don't know how the Reddit community thinks, so have at it. So I actually have notes from Jasper and Bridget's thing about um, the Jasper timeline. Okay, here we go. Aha! Social Disease. So what happened was that... I went, I did a series when I looked at unusually Eric's take, not vampire's take, and basically Jasmine and Bridget's take on the social disease podcast, and of course my take on everything. So I'll link to it down at the bottom, like my takes on things. Anyhow, um, so the social disease talked about, they summarized everything, Rick's quest for forgiveness, Emma's Crusade, Toby's friendship, Alex, Alex slash Raj's role, Spinner's downfall, Rick's breaking point, and what ifs. So anyway, they summarized Emma being petty about, you know, Liberty and Chris. It teams up Emma and Paige for some reason. Alex, Alex saying she knows firsthand about abuse because her mom gets abused by her her boyfriends, and basically up to the shooting. Um, when they talk about Rick's quest for forgiveness, he only apologized once. He wanted to prove he changed. The lack of show and tell, basically, he wanted, he wanted to show everyone and tell everyone how he felt, but it didn't happen. He wanted to buy his forgiveness when he gave Emma that $500 plus dollar check and the rich ribbon thing, and he was delusional. Talk about Spinner's downfall, about no much connection in season three, like, the whole um, thing about Rick abusing Terry. He was wearing the pants in season four. He was just a bully. He was stealing... A, he stole Jimmy's MP3 player. And basically, Spinner and Jimmy's friendship had deteriorated. And it's like, why did he listen to Jay? He was just basically a follower. You know, they talked about Toby having his distance from JT. Because JT wanted to go after Liberty via Danny, her brother. The kissing bet was the bet aimed at Emma and being a good friend but attacked by Jay. Um, the Alex and Match thing, Alex saw it firsthand and efficient Rick as every abuser possible. That's what they said. Alex pulled the rope. She didn't get punished because of what happened in the bathroom and basically Ratch messed up. Uh, they talked about Rick's breaking point, warped perception of reality. He was creepy towards Emma. You know, this is for you and all that. He never changed at the end of the day. He didn't believe in Radich getting the answers. And I mean, who could blame him? And, you know, Paige and Rick had it some kind of dynamic. Because I said in a previous unpopular opinion that, you know, Paige was, Paige was the reason why Rick was bonkers and not his dad. I don't think Rick's dad had anything to do with it. Paige had something to do with it because of Paige, in Rick's mind, basically trying to destroy his relationship with Terry. So when they talked about Emma, they said they judged too. She judging too much. She judged people too much. She was with Paige to make Manny and Liberty jealous. She was inconsistent about everything. She needed someone to talk to. She always was with a cause. I guess I didn't write down the gun thing. If that was... Wait a minute. Did I screw up and say, what's the gonorrhea of punishment? Yeah. So, anything... You know. It's not about gonorrhea. Who said that? If it wasn't... I don't know. But anyhow, I think they said something to the fact that... You know, Emma, when she went down to the graffine with Jay, she actually had the 
the foresight with his sexual favors and all that. And some say that Emma getting STD was a, was a punishment for her being involved in the Rick Murray situation in the first hand. You know, being triggered by Radich, being around patron or friends who just wanted Rick to leave the school. But the orange ribbon campaign Emma came up with was a sign just to bully him and all that stuff. Emma switching off the orange ribbon and trying to defend Rick, which got Rick to like Emma in a sense, even though Emma said that I was just defending you because it was the right thing to do. You know, and then Rick being involved with uh, uh, Emma in the like your brain thing, and then Rick pointing gun at Emma after Emma spurned his kiss, saying that I felt pity for you, get a clue. And then, you know, Emma losing Sean in a sense, because, you know, I think the signs were there. Emma wanted to be with Sean. But anyway, yeah, and, you know, her downfall. It wasn't seen much after, between Time Stand Still Part 2 and Secret Part 1. Basically, she was fine. She didn't show any massive sign of trauma. Oh, no, back in black she did, but yeah. But then, you know, Secret, we find out that Emma was not fine, and within, like, a month and a half or two months, she was just... Not herself. Everyone not, said she would bounce back, but she didn't. She ended up going with Jay down in the ravine. She ended up being the aggressor in some relationship, some part of it. And then, you know, the STD thing that uh, Jay gives Alex and Amy gonorrhea. And I believe that Liberty and Emma, well, Liberty had to, join, had to jump in at the last second. And I think Manny jumped in at the last second, too. To help Emma. But then, you know, Emma is talked to by Manny saying that we all want to Needs to be the old Emma. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, Emma's supposed to got her uh, thing. Was it a punishment? I personally think that no, because the writers would have been stupid. And maybe the gonorrhea led Emma to realize that she shouldn't have done what she did. I think Emma, in a sense, kind of confessed that she felt bad about Rick's death and all that, thinking that she had a role to play. But in another unpopular opinion, I'll talk about in seasons. Um, is it on public opinion? I think it is. I'll talk about how Emma, you know, the whole situation actually ruined her in a sense. Hidden agenda in Emma's behavior in season six. So, anyway. People were making jokes saying that the Degrassi board STDs were trait to the runoff of the riffing that yeah explanation basically said that Emma did bully Rick so Paige would think she would was cool but she regretted it two seconds later and was standing up for him all that People said punishment by karma. She didn't bully Rick. She was one of the few who treated him decently. If anything, Alex deserved it. And someone said, well, that would be ridiculous because she barely bullied Rick and ended up defending him at the wrong in the end of so where, where she does initiate bully Rick. So I know, but, you know, there's always a reason for everything. It's like, you know, Emma probably could have thought that way too. I think in a sense that people probably, I think possibly that Emma's gonorrhea was just, it wasn't a way to punish her for actually starting the Orange Ribbon campaign and all that, because I think she kind of did admit guilt to that. If anything, I think that the gonorrhea was a punishment for, I don't think it was a punishment towards Emma. It was just punishment for Emma trying to be her old ways. You know, the cause girl, the girl that usually got triggered in the first few seasons. I think it was basically a punishment for her getting involved in things. And I think in a sense that the writers just wanted Emma to be more down to earth and less judgmental and bossy. So if anything, that's what it is. That's what it comes down to. But, you know, you got to believe what you got to believe. And you believe nothing. But anyway, that's all I've got for this episode. Thanks for watching.